The official specs have leaked for the GoPro Hero 12. All the rumors about edge-to-edge -edge display, bigger screens, and a bigger sensor. All of those rumors? Not true. This is one of the worst GoPro updates ever. Let's take a look at the specs on the GoPro Hero 12. First up, we have a 5.3K 60 frames per second sensor, which is the same as the one that's in the GoPro Hero 11. If you're taking photos with the GoPro Hero 12, you can get photos up to 27 megapixels, which is the exact same as the GoPro Hero 11 Black. If you want to color grade your videos, videos come with 10-bit color options, which is the same as the GoPro Hero 11 Black. The screens on the GoPro Hero 12, well, they're 2.27 inches and 1.4 inches diagonally, which are the same as the screens on the GoPro Hero 11 Black. However, there is a big difference between the GoPro Hero 12 and the GoPro Hero 11. I'm talking about the batteries. Now, these batteries are still the same 17, 20 milliamp hours. However, if you're shooting in 5.3K at 60 frames per second, get this, my friends, you will get an extra nine minutes of recording time. And if you're recording at 1080p, get this, you're gonna get an extra 13 minutes of recording time. How, I mean, from just these batteries, extra nine minutes. From a functionality perspective, you've got Hypersmooth 6.0, which let's be honest, the Hypersmooth 5 was incredible. I'm not sure how they can make that better. But you also get the likes of Horizon Lock, Horizon Leveling, all the same old things that were in the GoPro Hero 11. Now there is one big difference between the GoPro Hero 12 and the GoPro Hero 11, but I'm gonna get that at in a sec. But right now, this is a really cautious update from GoPro. I'm not sure what they're doing. Don't get me wrong, I don't hate GoPro. In fact, I love GoPro. If I was to buy an action camera in the morning, it would be a GoPro. If you're coming from the 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, then this would be a substantial upgrade to go to the 12. But I'm just not sure with DJI kind of chomping away at the action camera market with the new DJI Action 4, you're kind of thinking to yourself, what the hell, GoPro? you need to do a little bit more, right? And maybe this is where they've just done enough, okay? Because there is one big difference between the GoPro Hero 12 and the GoPro Hero 11. Maybe I'm saving the best to last. Maybe it's all about retention. Anyway, so if we look at the case on the GoPro Hero 11, and I think a lot of the GoPros for the last couple of years, they've all had this kind of uniform, solid, gray color around it, that color is gone because now it comes with speckles. Yeah, it's a speckly GoPro Hero 11 or 12, I mean. If you're into filmmaking and want to make better videos, subscribe.